Hello everyone. My name is Kyungwon Kim from Kungmin University, Seoul, South Korea. Today, I have a presentation regarding making cloud spot instance interruption event visible. Before calling to the chase, I want to briefly introduce what spot instance is. Cloud vendors always have surplus computing resources to handle peak usage. They offer the surplus resource at price of 90% lower than on-demand instance, which are known as spot instance. Most cloud vendors, including AWS, uh, Azure, and GCP, provide spot instance. So how does spot instance work? This figure represents resource capacity of cloud data centers. Here, blue servers represent the resources that are in use, and red servers represent resources that are not in use. As shown in the figure, when there are a lot of unused resources, spot instance can be used. However, if it doesn't have enough unused resources to supply on-demand or reserved instances, can spot instance can be interrupted. Despite the significant cost advantages, such interrupts can make users hesitant to use spot instance. To reduce the uncertainty with the spot instance, cloud vendor provides spot dataset. Spot dataset includes the price dataset and availability dataset. Price dataset consists of an on-demand price, spot price, and savings. Savings indicate how much cheaper the spot price is compared to on-demand price. AWS, Azure, and GCP provide spot dataset. And there are two data in availability dataset, uh, and spot placement score and interrupt frequency rate. Interrupt frequency rate is indicator of how often spot interrupts were terminated in the past month, categorized into five range from less than five to more than 20. In this paper, interrupt frequency rate mapped to a score increase by 0 0.5 from one to three. Converted, mm, converted value as uh, interrupt free score, IFS for short. Uh, a higher score indicates high availability and interrupt frequency rate provided by AWS and Azure. And then spot placement score for short SPS represents the immediate availability of spot instance. And just like the interrupt frequency free, free score, the higher score indicates high availability. And only AWS provides spot placement score. However, the effectiveness of using this data set has not yet been evaluated, and many users still rely on guess when using spot insights. So in this work, we focus on analyzing and evaluating this new data set, which remain unexplored. And there are three main goals. First, we thoroughly analyze the spot data set from major vendors, include AWS, Azure, and GCP. And we aim to understand the distribution and temporal change patterns of this spot data set and analyze, analyze their characteristic. Second, uh, based on changing characteristic of spot data set, we will demonstrate their predictability. Third, and we will evaluate the spot data set. And for data set evaluation, we will conduct actual spot instance termination experiments to identify the spot data that best represent interruption and show that it's possible to select a stable spot instances based on the spot prediction. And from now on, I will show you the results of analysis on spot data set. The first analyst uh, focus on the distribution of spot data set. And these CDF figures show distribution average of each spot instance da spot data set and over a period of 10 months starting from November 2022. And the prominent part of the figure, the Azure exhibit higher distribution in savings and in total free score compared to the another vendors. And then we check the temporal change pattern of the spot data set. Uh, this figure, the horizontal axis show the elapsed days since July 19, 2023, and the vertical axis represents the average of uh, each spot data set. The figure shows that the savings do not show temporary characteristic, and in the free score shows changes over time, but no specific patterns. The prominent part of the figures is that only SPS data shows the regular change patterns, so we analyze the SPS temporal patterns in more detail. This figure shows the hourly and weekly change pattern of SPS, and SPS is lower during working hours and weekdays, and higher in off-hour and weekend. 
This shows SPS immediately reflect the availability of spot instance, and regular change pattern shows the possibility of spot SPS value predictions. So far, I explained about the analysis of spot data set. In this part, I will show you about the how to predict SPS value. The SPS value predict model used the prior three days SPS as an input feature and predicted the future SPS value. Figure shows an example of one day SPS prediction. So in this way, we predicted SPS value for about 23,000 instances. And this table represents the F1 score of, for various prediction models over different feature prediction window size. The results of prediction are accurate even with a simple model because uh, SPS of the most instance uh, exhibit regular or minimal change pattern in 72 hour, within 72 hours. And among the various models tested, the XGBoost model outperform others regardless of the prediction window size. Although the difference is marginal, so we will continue to use XGBoost model for future SPS predictions. Now we need to conduct an evaluation to understand which data set is indicate interruption and whether SPS prediction can reduce interruptions. Therefore, we launch uh, spot instance and then observe status of spot instance for 24 hours. And before launching spot instance, we have to sample target spot instances. And in this work, we sampled 875 target instances and considering equal spot data score distribution as possible. And thus, after the sampling, we launch and check every sample target spot instances for 24 hours. And health checking is executed every five seconds. And thus, the status of spot, uh, target spot instances looks like the figure. And the fulfill and stop the status are alternately repeated. And even <clears throat> Health checking logs are categorized fulfilled and not fulfilled. So we will analyze the how we will analyze how well spot data reflect the actual status of spot instance with real world experience, real world experiments log data. We use Kaplan Mayo estimator to check survival rates that depend on the cloud vendor and score of spot data. The couple Meyer estimator is non-parametric statistic uh, used to estimate the survival function from lifetime data. And this figure on the left shows the survival rate of different cloud vendor. The survival rate are highest in order Azure, followed by GCP, and then AWS. The middle and right figure represent IFS and SPS. The high, medium, and low metric correspond to score 3, 2, and 1. As the figure shows, high availability score are correlated with higher survival rate. This suggests that availability score effectively represents the actual spot instance interruptions. Then we analyze distribution of sub time depending on its spot data set. Uh, this figure represents CDF's distribution of the stopped latencies. The stopped latency is not running time after the interruption, and the shorter latency is better. As the figure shows, the savings is not reflect the interruption in all vendor, and IFS of AWS indicate interruption, and Azure, Azure does not. But IFS of AWS does not indicate interruption at over 10,000 seconds. However, SPS indicate interruption regardless of time. So SPS is best indicator of interruptions. Uh, we have to discover that uh, SPS data is best indicator of interruption events and availability of spot instance. To go one step further, we check whether predicting future SPS value can help increase probability of predicting interruption of spot instance. And we compare distribution of spot instance running time with different predicted SPS value. In this CDF figure, the vertical axis show the distribution and the horizontal axis represent the spot instance running time. So the figure on the left side represents the spot, uh, spot instance SPS value is high when spot instance value is made. And the figure on the right side represents the spot instance value is low when spot instance request is made. Um, when the SPS value is high, selecting an instance predicted value is consistently high can increase the expected runtime of the spot instance by 63.2% and 
Even when the initial SPS value is low, selecting, uh, selecting spot instance with higher expected SPS value can increase the expected spot instance running time by 168%. So when choosing spot instance, referencing predicted SPS value can improve the spot instance availability. In summary, we analyze spot data set provided by major cloud vendor and demonstrate their efficiency through experiments. In analysis, spot data shows daily fluctuation pattern in the <coughs> and show predictability. Indeed, SPS prediction shows a good F1 score with simple model and predicting SPS enable more stable spot instance selection. Let's conclude my presentation. Thank you.